I'm Amy. I'm living in Chrysalis, and I've got about 20-25 minutes to kill, so I thought I'd show you a light summer look. Let's get to it. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As I said, I'm just getting ready for work and had a few extra minutes, so I thought I'd get cute. If you like what you've been seeing, please, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, share, comment, especially comment. I love the comments. And let's just jump right into the look. Because I'm spending my summer outside, I'm not using any skin lightening, brightening, retinol, anything like that. So this will give you a good chance to see all the sun damage I've got from life. Well, I'm under thrilled with all of that, but it is what it is. <sighs> However, just because I'm not using my sun lightening things does not mean I'm not using sunscreen. So I started off my sunscreen base with Urban Decay, Urban Defense, which I don't think they're making anymore, and that makes me very, very sad because the one I've got waiting in the wings is twice the price. I picked it up on sale for $40. This was like 34 for the same amount of product. So yeah, I'm not thrilled. Thanks a lot, Urban Decay. Bring this back, bring this back. I should really write to them. And I just located it after I put this primer on. I do also have a mini of the Super Goop Sunscreen Serum. I wonder if I can put it on on top. You know what, I'm gonna try. Why, because Again, I've just shown you my <laughs> I've shown you my sun damage. Now obviously the thing with using multiple sunscreen products is not that you get more protection as in, you know, add 30 and 30 and you get 60. But because you actually need quite a bit of product to give you the protection, when you when you're doing your face, if you layer products with SPF, for instance, a serum, a, a primer, um, foundation, that sort of thing, then you're more likely to actually get the sort of coverage that you need. For a bit of light color correcting, I've got the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Cushion. And interestingly enough, this does have sunscreen at 20. So that'll give me a little bit of extra sunscreen coverage right where I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go in with the peach side. Oh, I hate this stupid ring. It always comes off. I'm just taking it off. So the peach side, I'm going to go in right under my eyes just to try to brighten it a little bit. Again, it's not going to work miracles because it's very light, but Maybe it'll keep me from looking quite like a corpse. Okay, let's do just a little bit more there. A little bit of little bit of coverage. Then I'm gonna go in with the lavender side. This applicator's stupid. Because I do have some rather yellowish discoloration right on the top of my cheekbones. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with the lavender. I actually do like this product, not for heavy duty color correction, but just for light things when I'm going for a natural look. But I want to look just a little bit better than I actually do. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Just a little bit of color correction and a little bit of extra SPF. I'm going to see if my color's changed enough to use this. It's pretty good, doesn't it? Let me take a let me take a real mirror here. Mm, eh, I can still kind of see it, but my face is a little darker now, so I guess I'll go ahead. Physicians Formula Super CC cream, and this has an SPF of 30. This color is ivory, but it's a little older, so I they may have changed. The shades. I'm going to have to take a look because I could swear I think they did. Okay, and I actually like to use these silicone sponges to 
give a basic application. And this time I'm going to go onto my neck because what happens is my, my shoulders and my chest get dark, my neck stays pale, and then my face gets dark. So I'm going to go ahead and try to even all that out. I might as well just look a little bit darker because, well, again, I'm in the sun a great deal now. Okay. And again, this is not for the final thing. I use this to distribute product so that when I use my brush to buff it in, I don't lose as much product to the brush. Probably would also work if you're using a, you know, a beauty blender or you know, some, you know, some sort of foundation sponge for that, but I swear by this. I know a lot of people are like, oh, silicone things are stupid. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't give you you know, they don't give you a good finish, but I use it as a step. So, you can take that for whatever it's worth. I really like it, though. Okay. I think I need a little bit more coverage on my nose, so I'm just going to swipe my brush right there and boom, 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 boom. Because my nose and foundation, whew, boy. I always lose foundation on my nose and my chin. And I'm really considering get, picking up a mini of that Milk Hydro Blur Primer to see if that'll work as far as keeping it on. I don't lose foundation everywhere, but in these two spots I do, and I know milk, it, milk products are expensive, but if I can use it just on those two spots, I think that'd be great. Since I have actually been asked to do an eyebrow tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and do a repeat of the one I've already done. It was quite some time ago, and my <laughs> I, my tech skills have improved since then, so let's see if we can do it. Now, if you take a good look, you'll see that my eyebrows are at different heights. This one is higher, this one's lower. Now, I do a little bit of adjusting for it with with um, plucking. For instance, I pluck a little bit from the top here, pluck a little more from the bottom here. Of course, I still have to pluck from the bottom. There are some too, but oh, that's where I am. But in order to even it up, this time I'm just using it, something I'm, I'm painting. Typically, I don't like pomades, but I also don't like wasted products, so here we go. So I'm going to go in with there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little to the top here. Now, also, if you'll see, you see how they tend to round down, but I've got these little itty-bitty hairs on the top there. I fill those in to give myself a bit more of a shape because if they round down, then it tends to pull my whole eye look down. Also, sorry, I forgot to mention this. This goes out wider here than it does here. It tends to be a little more close. So again, I also go outside my line a bit here. But I want it to keep a fairly natural look, so I went ahead and left some hairs there because I don't like a really narrow tail. Okay, see where I'm going with that? Okay, now on the other side, again, uh, fill in some of that, a little strokey, strokey. And there's a little funny dip there, so I will fill that in. But other than that, I'm not going across the top. Now, here's a spot where I need to be careful, too, because I want, because this goes further in, in, or further out, and in order to even the appearance, I'm staying inside the hairline instead of out. And I know it kind of brings this one in a little, but I really need to do that in order to even up the appearance. All right, let's do that. Tore a little bit more there. And then I'll brush this. And even that out there. It's so much harder to do it in the viewfinder than the mirror, by the way. But 
Oh, the other thing I need to do to try to even out the appearance is I'm going to add a little bit more down here. So, see where I'm going with that? I'm not going for Groucho Marx brows, but I do like a relatively thick brow. I'm not doing the fluffy brow thing either. I just, I don't want to. I know it's the trend right now, but I prefer a bit more of a sleek look. Okay, did I accidentally wipe that away? I think I did. Okay, that's all right. I will just add a little more. Okay. And then, okay. Out. You said it's, I'm staying more outside the hairline here and inside the hairline here. So let's put that in. Okay. I will put a little bit, just not outside the hairline, but like right at the edge just to match the, match the shape right there. I don't want super one super block brow and one and one more natural because that would look a little silly. Okay, so remember they're sisters, not twins. So if you, if you keep striving to get them exactly alike, that is just not going to happen. But they should look like they're related. And let me I accidentally brush some pomade down, so I'm going to smooth that away. And there you go. I'm generally not crazy about creams, but at least if I sweat, it'll stick. And there we go. Just to hit those jowls a little bit. God, I look yellow. Is it the foundation shade or the lighting in here? I don't know. Oh well. Oh, a little dab for my chin. I have just the barest hint of a cleft there, so I like to, I like to give that a, a little assistance. Green blush, only because I'm trying to finish it. And let me set this real quick. I'm going to use the Flower Beauty powder. It's kind of weird because it's got this, it's like that, and then it's got this puff. So I'm not, I thought the container was cute, but it's kind of annoying. Okay. <laughs> Concealer mash. I forgot to put it on before I powdered, but that's okay. That's all right. I'll live. <sighs> and. Bah, 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 bah. And I use my Beauty Blender Dry to to blend, you know, to blend it out and mash it in and whatever you want to call it. This is supposed to be a summer lighter look. I'm just going to go in with the Pixi Shea Butter Lip Balm. I'll, I'll put on a sunscreen lip balm a little later. But that stuff is colorless, so I want to have a little bit of color if I'm tr if I'm trying to get cute here. I'm going to get into an eye look. It's fairly simple. I'm going to use this lavender cream shade in place of a 
primer because I'm trying to keep it kind of light and because I'm trying to use this thing up. A lot of times when I do these videos I go kind of ham on my eyeshadow but this time I just want to go simple and light for summer. A self-mixed shade that I'm trying to pan. And of course, given my hooded eyes, I've got to go above the crease line or else we'll never see anything again. Okay, it's light for me. Of course, I suppose the lightest look I've done on a video would be the Big Bird one I did in my most recent Muppet video. Although, depending on when this goes up, maybe it will have been my most recent one. My Muppet video from July. That look was uncharacteristically light for me, and I actually rather liked it. But. I also want to use this stuff up and I've not been working on this panning project really at all. This is supposed to be the, um, well, a couple of them, single, all the single ladies and my man Matt, which this is the Matt, and um, pan as old as time because except for these two Smashbox ones in the middle, these are all Mary Kay's or Mary Kay mixes I've done myself and I've had these oh uh, somewhere between 20 and 25 years so yeah that's a lot all right let me just blend it out a little bit with my finger because of the tacky base and i'm gonna go in with hmm i know what i'm gonna do this is actually a wet and wild primer that broke and i am using what little of it I have left as an eyeshadow and yes I'm still mad at wet and wild. Aiden. Okay. I thought I was going light. Perhaps I'm mistaken. <laughs> I'm gonna go do the things. Okay, I've done the things. So I also threw a little bit of uh highlighter on. So what do you think of the look? <laughs> okay, it's a little more than I intended, but all right. One last quick trick. This is a product called Cover Your Gray. It's a little waxy stick. It's available in Sally's. I think it might be at Ulta as well. And I use this to kind of even out my hairline a bit. Okay, that one went a little far, but okay. Just to, and what I use it for is to color some of the baby hairs so that, for instance, see how that goes way up there? That annoys me. I like a slightly more rounded look. I just use it to kind of fill in a spot in my hairline that annoys me. And then I just use my finger to kind of blend it in and make it look a little more natural. So, okay. I'm off. I forgot to do my closing. So, of course, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please subscribe. And I'll see you soon.